is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I want to talk a little bit about the silver chart. I posted it uh, on the top of the hour. Uh, this is an hourly chart on silver going back the last couple of weeks, but I want you to notice you can see the 382 retracements. You'll see them marked there in a little red box, and I'm going to have to re-put it up there because I have two charts at once, and I don't want to see that happen anymore. Here we go. Sorry, folks, a little bit of technical difficulties are upon us. And here is the silver chart. This is what you see here. You can see the 382 retracements through here. Had two of them here, doubled up here. There's your double bottom. Look at this, folks. This is un... This is just don't see this for a minute. This is not even anything like this. This is just so many days in a row in this 50 cent range. Uh... I don't know what's happened. Let me try to do it again, folks. Uh, see if this helps. I'm sorry. I'm not that sorry, but I, I'm just one trying to get it up here. Anyway, you'll see here that we did have a 382 retracement here a few days ago, and we've been going sideways. Now, if this is really good, this is important because when these patterns fail, they're worth a fortune. If we go, we went above it a little bit, but we haven't backed off at all. So as soon as we clear this next number right here, which is up about 30 or 40 cents, this thing should be off to the races. And don't be surprised if you see something like this. Our friends in the coin business tell us it's, it's impossible to get silver rounds. These are these uh, little round uh, stamped coins or tokens. Uh, some of them say United States of America, even though they're not U.S. coins. But they're like silver dollars. They have, um, you know, one ounce of silver. Uh, uh, what is it? 78 proof, 76 proof, I think is whatever it is. Anyway, but that's what that's what you're looking at here when you see this thing uh, breaking out to the upside. That's so very, very important to watch this pattern. Gold pattern is absolutely different. We had a huge break in the gold, huge break in platinum. Silver didn't even budge. And if you're short in a market that won't go down like that, just be really careful. Now it might it might turn out to be something really good because if if we get above here and then take this out, oh my goodness, that's really big trouble. So you get below this level right here. Everybody that bought this over the past six days is now underwater, and that's when the old life preserver comes in, also known as a protective stop to keep you from losing your bacon and the eggs and the toast and whatever else you have with breakfast because that's what it could be. So now we're going to talk about one other one here because we have a trade that we've been talking about here in um, – oh, dear. Where did I put it? I know I got it in here. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I know. Oh, dear. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Oh, where is it? I just had it up here. Oh, shucks. Oh, where is the hog trade? Ah, oh, got it. This isn't it. No. Hold on just a minute. I have it here somewhere. Ah, oh, dog on it. This is frustrating as heck. I don't know what happened to the darn thing. Boy, oh, boy. I'm going to bring it up at the break. You know what? I can do it right now. Since we've got the time to do this, I'm going to do it right now. So give me a second. It only takes me a few seconds to get up here to... Uh, Pull the hogs up, and we should be fine. I, it's important because it's a major pattern. It's a big market. You know, it's uh, got a lot of people that trade this, and boy, it has been hit really hard recently because no one's been buying pork, and that's the old segment of what's happening with these markets. Now, let's get up here. Okay, because yesterday it was up about a point and a half, and everybody – that belong to the 24-7, oh, we've missed it, we've missed it. And I said, no, no, no. I said, be patient, be patient, my fair, fair feathered friends. Here's what we're looking at right now in the hog, so we can get it up here. I don't know what happened to the darn thing. It was on the program, and I had it 
plugged in and it didn't do it. Okay, so here's what we, yesterday, we had a really strong rally getting us back to this level right here and now we're down two cents. Now, folks, we're only two cents away from what I think will be a major bottom. This is a 1.618 expansion right here. Okay, you have a beautiful bar butterfly pattern forming right in here. So you got everything that you need. You got multiple A, B, C, D patterns forming right in here. Another one right there, A, B, C, D, coming in here at about 85. So I'm going to be buying hogs tomorrow. Can't buy them today because that would be more than limit down. So, And I have to be risk about two cents on them. But if it's right, it's going to have at least an eight to 10 cent rally. So you got a four to one risk reward ratio with a probability of working of better than seven out of 10. That's the ideal situation. No different if you took this right here and turned it upside down, that's the same pattern. This is spread out, but it's the same pattern. It's the same type of pattern that you're looking at here, that you're looking at here. This is condensed. This one's spread out more. That's all it is. Everything goes back to A, B, C, D. That's what you're looking at when you're watching these things unfold. Each one of them is separate. Each one of them is a little different, but they all have the same structure right out of from Benoit Mandelbrot fractal analysis. That's where it comes from, and that's what you're looking for to see if these things unfold the way you like to them to do. But they don't always work. We know that for a fact, don't we? But we do one at a time. That's all we can do. So that's the one we're going to be paying very, very close attention to tonight and tomorrow. I'll leave it up to you to follow through to see what it does or not. And then we'll be, of course, following through what we have here uh, in the stock market today because we're up against some support numbers here in the Dow Jones and in the S&P and the Russell and the NASDAQ. And the uh, at all four of those indices are all in that very – of course, the NASDAQ is is lagging badly. It, it just uh, – this has no power at all to get back. It can't even get back to the 61 percent retracement that it made uh, – yesterday uh, and then down today and then been rallying back but can't even get back to those highs of 618 anymore it might later in the day when the, the the dow pops up above the numbers and stuff but until that happens it looks like that uh, it's going to be a little weaker and that's the you want to buy the strongest sell the weakest that's the odds of put the odds in your favor of what you're going to be looking at as you do that if you have any questions folks it's eight seven seven nine two seven. Uh, 6648. I wanted to mention a couple things. You know, I follow the Elliott Wave stuff just because of the things that they talk about, and I wanted to review these because these are from a long time ago. It's actually two years ago in March, and of course the market topped you know uh, much later than this, but these were some of the things that were happening at that time. I want to get this up here to show you now. That's one of the reasons why that top was made in January of a of 22 uh but of course this was 21 it just kept going and going and going you don't know whether that's going to stop it or not it's just a cat you know what do you call a parabolic move you can't do anything about that so you just move on to the next one but there were several of those that were like that this was one that was really interesting which was the insider buying now i bring this to your attention because you don't know what that top is what you have to do if you're a trader you have to go to your uh, charts and determine, you know, is this an ABCD extension? Is it a 1.618? Then you have something to work on. That's what I'm trying to do now is flip this upside down and look at this 1.618 in the hog market and to see if I can become a hog, mar hog farmer for $800. That's all I want to do. I don't want to get out there with those pigs. I, I grew up on a farm. Believe me, they weren't fed... <laughs> I don't even tell you what they want to, they, what they were fed. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Billy Ray Currencies, Ballard. commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. C -c Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm going to put up the chart here of Apple, which you can see here. Now, this is, a, this is potentially extremely bullish, folks. You can see the 135 pattern. It's absolutely perfect there at 165. The actual high was 166. These ratios were pretty much spot on. The time between 1, 3, and 5, exactly equal. But look at this, folks. This thing has only backed off not even five points. Except, well, exactly five points is all it's backed off. Look what happened here. Look what happened here. This could be extremely bullish. If this thing closes above 166, you could be looking at a high way up here at 180, 190 very, very quickly. Now, people say, well, how can that happen with Apple moving things around and stopping artificial intelligence or whatever the stuff they're doing? Uh, and by the way, I don't know if anybody saw Bloomberg or CNBC today when they had the guy that was in charge of uh, the artificial intelligence for Microsoft. Folks, that was flat out scary. That guy, I mean, I'm sure his IQ is up into the stratosphere, but someone should have got him a clean shirt and have him take a bath because, boy, oh, boy, was he unkept. I, I, I think this, Sarah Eisen was was laughing because I know what he what he looked like, but uh, he's a genius, and that's how geniuses uh, act sometimes. That's why I have a clean shirt on today, folks, because I'm not a genius. Okay, that's that's Apple. We're going to look at a couple others that that help determine you know what the market's doing some of the time. And let me get those up here for just a minute. We just made a new high in the Dow Jones. And uh oh, now we're above the old number here by uh, another five or ten points. So we'll see here what's going on. Hold on now a second. The uh, let's move move this over. I want to get this uh, so we can see a couple of stocks that I want you to see. Here's one very important to the banking index, folks. This is our good friend, the old investment banking Goldman Sachs. Miller, Friedman, and Pierce. Anyway, this is uh, Goldman Sachs. We've had that 382 retracement here. We backed off very, very slightly. It's uh, basically up a little bit today, but this market did not collapse. It stopped at the 78% level 
uh, right in here. This is not a one, three, five pattern. And the reason why there's no symmetry, in other words, there's not a good cycle in here that you can mac that up lock that up that make it pretty easily to look at as opposed to what we were looking at yesterday in the gold market i want to get this up here to show you the big difference because these are the ones that determine which pattern you're looking at there's the pattern in the gold market there's your one three five pattern there's one right here there's three coming into the 61 percent retracement there it is again at the 61 percent retracement and it's also at the 50% retracement of this whole move from right here to right there, there it is. And now we're trading up into this zone right here, up around 222. Ooh, that's one of my favorite numbers. Anyway, so that's what we're paying attention to uh, on some of these other stocks. But I wanted to give uh, an idea on a couple of others because they're interesting to see them unfold. One of them, <laughs> this bank has no 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 friends. It, it, it hardly ever has. But let's take a look at it. This is our Bank of America. Now, look at Bank of America. We made this beautiful Gartley up into this area. There's a 382 retracement here. There's where the banking crisis for the regional banks occurred. And bang, down we went. We made a, a, a low down in here. We had this little tiny rally that couldn't even make a 382. Boy, if that's not telling you that something's not right in Denmark or, or San Francisco, where, where their bank is, that, that to me is extremely negative. I mean, it's telling you that the market is just not believing that this banking crisis is over. The stock market's doing okay. We got the S&P up. Uh, we got the Dow Jones up. We got the NASDAQ, or NASDAQ's not up yet, but the others are, are hanging. Maybe the NASDAQ is. Maybe it turned all the way around. Nope, NASDAQ is the only one down. And uh, got the S and P is uh, uh, is up about uh, 12. The Nasdaq's down about 40. The Dow Jones is up about 180. Uh, uh, at the high has been 33936. That number, remember, on the uh, 786 retracement was 33900. Uh, so we're five pips uh, above that right now. Whether that means anything or not, we won't know for the next hour or so. But that's what's uh, going on. Now, here, here's, here's a bank that is really well run. This is one of my favorite banks. It's not in my state here, but it's the Mellon Bank of Pittsburgh. You'll be able to see Andrew Mellon was the founder of this. Uh, it's had a big move up. You can see the big ABCD pattern to the upside. We pull back just a little below the 61% retracement of this level right here. We make the 382 retracement into it. And, and here again, it's still not blasting off to the upside. Time out. <laughs> As you know, the first day of spring passed us a couple weeks ago on the 21st, and now the Palo Verde trees have started to attack. I've got a new uh, medicine that's sort of helping, but today um, it's very hot here. We, it's 97 today. This is the hottest day uh, on this date, uh, on the uh, 11th of April, the hottest day since 1895 here in Tucson. So we're, we're going to get 100, not this week, but next week. And they have a big contest here of when the exact time is and the person wins some money and stuff. But uh, I don't enter those things because I have no interest. And in, in anyway, my my interest is in what's going to happen next with the stock market, not other things like that. Okay, now here's one. Uh, I don't want to bring this up because th th I should bring this up because this was a, this to me, this was this was actually hilarious. Okay, this is that Silicon Valley Bank. Now, this is the chart, folks, $700 last year, okay, last year in November. Now, look at this market come down, folks. Do you think somewhere, somewhere in here, someone would have had a question, huh, maybe this bank is not really as well run as we thought. To me, that would be right here. You see that retracement right here after the big break? Once we went through that, then the rest of it, it's just been nothing – but A, B, C, Ds, all the way down. And then, of course, you have the 3A2 here. And then finally, you have the last 3A2 here. And then you see here, this is when it went tapioca and uh, was no longer. But from $700 to zero, the 16th largest bank in the country, and our stocks are still up. Boy, that's saying something for the Federal Reserve folks because they calm the panic, and by golly, it's – it's working so far. So let's uh, remind ourselves that uh, it's not what you 
lose. It's, it's not what you make. It's how much money you, you watch your losses. That's the main thing that you want to pay attention to. Now, here is the most well run of all the banks, and it shows it in the price of the stocks. This is nothing more than Jamie Dimon's. Get this up here. This is J.P. Morgan. And as you can see here, it stops right on the money, uh, right at the 50% level. Can't even make a 61% retracement of that move. And it has the rally back to the 382, and it still has not exceeded that rally is a 382. And this is the best bank. It must be because look at it. it has It's had the best thing to, that you can possibly get for, you know, uh, making it. Look at this beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern right here. Drive one, drive two, drive three. That's what we're looking at in that hog market. Uh, I don't know if hogs are going to be related to JP Morgan or not, but this is still the best run bank. Now, if this market starts to gap up and run, that's probably going to pull the other banks up with it and maybe get the stock market moving to much, much higher levels. So we're going to be paying very, very close attention to those as we look at these things unfold here during the day. And I think there's one more that I wanted to show you. I think, am I going to have time to do it? Nope. We'll do it. We come back in the break. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I, I posted the chart of the regional banks. This is the one that um, Jim Bartley only told us about uh, back on February 6th, having the big break. Now, it doesn't show any signs of wanting to rally here. I mean, they're, they're still making lower lows. There's no volume coming in. I mean, this is not a sign of a market that's uh, making any kind of a bottom. We're almost at a three drive to a bottom pattern here if it makes one other bottom. But, you know, maybe, I don't know. I'm just looking at the banking stocks. Nobody has an interest in them yet. You think if they were good value, people would be starting to pick them up. My God, they're down anywhere from 100% to uh, 
you know, 30% on these, and yet there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of buying as you're watching these things. So let's uh, let's see what out. We just made a new high in the S&P. So that ends that one, boys and girls. This thing is never going to go down. This is it. It's all over. Anyway, let's move over here. We're, remember the number in the Dow Jones, folks, is 33,930. We just smashed it to 33,944. I hear the beeper going off right now, so it's now actually 10 pips above the uh, exact 78% retracement of the high made uh, several months ago, uh, back in, uh, that was January. So we'll, we'll see where it's gonna end from here, but we are moving higher. The S&P just took out the day's high at 150.50, uh, 41.50, so that's telling you the market's probably going to close strong here with another hour and a half to go, but we'll see how that works on this one. The way I handle this, folks, I was looking at that trade earlier this morning, and I got in it uh, right at the, the first high that it made. It dropped about 100 points, and then when it got back to that 39.30 in the uh, Dow Jones, I sold the Dow Jones at 39.30, and I'm only risking – uh, 100 pips on that. I'm only risking uh, if it goes to 39.80, I'm out of there. And uh, let's try it again, 40.30. <laughs> if it gets to there uh, at 40.30, then I'm going to be out of it. I'm only going to risk one point uh, in that because I don't want to risk any more than that. I've had a good day in gold and a really good day in the treasury bonds and a pretty good day. I had a better day in the beans because I sold some up there at the 50% level last night because they couldn't get through, but I kept most of it. So that's going to be a break-even trade. But other than that, it's been a pretty – the bond is the, – the British pound has been uh, pretty good too. The bonds have been good. So all in all, not a bad day. Just because you have a losing trade, it's not a bad thing. If you just go on and do the next trade, that's all you can do. So nothing more or nothing less. Uh, hold on, hold on just a minute. Someone's asking me if I'm still live. I'm not sure that, but I am Mem Memorex. That's it, Memorex. I don't know if you guys remember that, but when I first bought my first home in California, I bought convertible bonds for Memorex with uh, John Rafoni was my broker, and that I used that in collateral to buy the house that I bought. I had to put uh, fifteen hundred dollars on the house, and I made money in those convertible bonds, and that paid for that house. In just about a year. Boy, those are back in the, the good old days. I can't believe I've been doing this this long, folks, and still loving it as much as I do. I mean, I'm just really, really lucky. Now, we've had a request from someone, and let's get it up here and talk about it, and that is the gasoline contract because we're reaching some areas. Gasoline prices are going skyrocketing here in Tucson, here in the Pueblo. Regular glass has hit 420. Uh, we were just at 320, 309 just about a month or so ago. You can see down in this area here, now we're approaching three drives to a top pattern up in here. Remember now, crude oil and heating oil are lagging badly compared to the gasoline. Gasoline has a strong seasonal because people driving their cars, you know, with the ice melting and stuff like that. So that's why you have that real strong seasonal occurring here in gasoline, and we're going to get to that level pretty soon. There's also another trade that I want to point out to you because those of you that like uh, having a little bit of meat, I want to share with you. Oh, dear. Where happened to my cattle? Where is my cattle chart? Where is my cattle chart? Ah, oh, here we go. This is it. This is June cattle. They're not there yet, folks, but they're going to get there. Let's get this up here and take a look at it. This is going to be a beauty. Very low risk when you get to that point. You'll see you have this really nice expanding ABCD3 drive to a top pattern. This is known as a reverse point wave. That's one, two, three, four, five, a reverse point wave. It was called an expanding triangle by H.M. Gartley. He called it a T6. It was one of the patterns that Andrew Lowe analyzed, and they really liked that pattern. And if you get to that level right there, it's only about four, uh, three cents away because we're up a little higher. We get to this level right here. You get to that 1.618. Ooh, 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 ooh. going to be very interesting. Very interesting if you can get the cattle up into that level. Look what a beautiful buy they were right here. Right at the 78% level from this right here, it had a stretch of nine days up. Before it had any type of correction, and the correction was just barely 382. That's really bullish action, folks. Very, very bullish action. So let's remind ourselves of that, okay? Very, very important. 
At least to me it is. I like trading cattle about four or five times a year. This is one of those times. And, of course, we have another one here that's gone through the roof, and that is our sugar the sweet. This thing just kept going, folks. It went past the uh, 1.618 by about three cents. We stopped here, but it never, never showed any sign of backing off. I mean, there was no doji or anything right here. It just kept going up and up and up, and that's where you don't want to catch a falling knife. Here's one. Look at this. This is, this is the same as the cattle. Look at this. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five-wave expanding triangle. It backs off to the 382, and whoom, away it goes. And this is... This is going to be real interesting up in here, folks, because sugar hasn't been this high for four years. And how do I know that? When I first met Cy Monley, sugar was trading at 25 cents. This was uh, four and a half years ago. Of course, he was he was really he was really big into uh, commercial stuff because he he uh, managed 250 farms. He now runs the uh, Farm Bureau. Uh, program for farmers and that's that's huge he's very busy now but uh, sugar was at 25 cents a pound it was at a gartley on the weekly basis at 25 cents a pound it had a three drive to a top pattern had everything that was necessary there and i couldn't get him to sell the sugar and i said sell one contract and he says it'll never go down i said well if one will go down that'll mean that more than one contract could go down and he sold it. Next day, it broke almost limit down. And then he hedged his crop, and silver went from 25 to 12. And so he became a fan of pattern recognition after that. With the, the fundamentals were so bullish, there was no chance sugar could ever go down. But guess what, boys and girls? It did, and it's still going down. No, it's up now. It's having one heck of a big rally. So... Those are a few of the things that uh, we're looking at here today. So those are the main things that we're watching here. So let's keep a close eye on what we're seeing here. And uh, we made, did make a new high by how much in that S&P? Oh, not enough to – no, not too much. Made a high by one point, but this is still early. we got another hour and 15 minutes to go. I'm keeping a close eye on the soybeans, folks, because I'm really bullish soybeans, and I've got to go into this report here. Uh, tomorrow, and I, I'm not going to go in without a. Uh, if I, I have to have a huge lead, at least 20 cents, and I had that lead last night. But guess what? They took it all away from me today, and so now I have to decide what I'm going to do. Just one second, because they've already closed. All I want to do now is to see uh, what I'm looking at coming in here. Uh, see, we closed. Oh, we closed 10 cents above our stop, so we're in good shape. Maybe we'll see. Still there. Still a prayer for us, 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back, and uh, we are going to be talking about the soybean market, I just posted the uh, soybean. Oh, I hope I did. Please tell me I did because you'll see. Oh, the wrong one. Oh, bear with me here a second, folks. And I, uh, someone's asked a question about something else that I wanted to uh, to answer. But first, let me get the soybean thing up here. The soybean market actually reversed here a little bit. Now, this is uh, I keep my stop in. and I'll tell you why, because. Uh, we're going to be uh, we're wrong here uh, a lot of times. So, by the way, the, the, my one point stop on that thing at 39.30 was at uh, 140.30, uh, 30, 34.030 would be my stop on the uh, Dow Jones. Anyway, as you can see here, uh, we in the last 15 minutes the market jumped up about a nickel, so we closed at 471. So I've got a 10 cent. Now anything can happen overnight. My stop is going to be at break even no matter what. I don't want that to go to a loss for two reasons. One, I had a profit in it at one time, and if it goes to a loss, I'm going to be angry with myself. I don't care if I miss this. This is not important. But after you've had a profit, and uh, and that's a substantial profit because I was only risking 500. I made twice that, but I elected not to take that profit. It was available today. I know some people probably did. I, I took a small profit, and then I... I wrote it down from here. I, I got out of some of it, and then I got out, put it back in at the 61% retracement, net change of about a nickel. But that's what I was watching. I'm aware of this because if this fails, we're going to be looking at a possible A, B, C, D that I can buy this, you know, down here. I can become a farmer down here, and that that's that's what I. If that happens, I'll be I'll be willing to do that. See, this is not this is not a dynamite triangle type move. See, it's a dynamite triangle, but in the wrong way. See, the, the rally back only made a 50% off of this number right back here and 61% of this number right here. That's where I said, oh, dear. And the harmonic number in beans is 18 cents, and they're up 20 cents. Well, that's where it all fits in. So I said, we got to take a little bit off, but uh, that's neither here nor there. We do one at a time. Not all of them work, but when they do work, they work pretty good. So let's take a look at another chart that someone's asking us about. And that is about the old plutonium here, because uh, last week we were looking at this for a potential for a correction down to the 61% retracement, and that's exactly what it did. Uh, we hit this exactly, and it dropped uh, well over uh, $40 an ounce down to the uh, uh, 1999 area, I believe 1998. It hit sometime last night, but it's still in an uptrend because you have still have higher bottoms in here. And higher tops. Longer term, of course, it's weaker. But shorter term, you got higher tops, higher bottoms. So this could still be a movement to the upside, folks. 
silver is the one to pay attention to because that's got a lot of potential either up or down because if it breaks off to the upside you're looking at two dollar higher per ounce in silver very quickly and if it fails look out because all those people that bought silver over the last six or seven days are going to be sitting there scratching their heads saying where did i go wrong and you know what the market's going to tell them where they went wrong that's absolutely for sure that's one thing we do know Okay, now one other question that someone had, and I write these questions down, but I'm surprised people just don't uh, call in and tell me. Here's the one that gives me the, the price level in silver, folks. I said $2 higher. Okay, here's where we are. You can see here the uh, big sell-off in gold, big sell-off in silver. The gold is the overlay chart in the gold, and then this is the silver chart. See, now what we've been here, now this is a... Uh, daily chart and silver but remember now this is five days it's been here okay now there's your there it is right there from 25 to almost 28 is where it's going to go look gold has already made it see gold has already broken out to the upside and going like crazy this is either a really big trap in here or that's where it's going to go and that's what you want to be uh, aware of because if we don't get out of here pretty soon and we back off a dollar it's not going to be a dollar. It's going to be three or four dollars down into this area right here. So that's why you want to pay close attention. That's one of the things that I'll look at open interest tonight is to see how well the open interest, because if you had market that goes up with increasing open interest, that's bullish. If you got a market that goes up with decreasing open interest, that's bearish. That means the longs are leaving the market. And that means that's not very, very powerful. So the numbers we get tonight will be very important to tell us whether this breakout that we're going to see here is going to be worth uh, its metal, okay? Now here's one last week. We did this on the air here, folks. This was one that we should be, it gets like a little Christmas present. This is the British pound. Boy, these two hours go pretty fast. You can see the ABCD pattern here. I backed off a little bit. I, I can't show the ones that don't work, folks, because I'd be on the, floor, I'd be on the, the show uh, 24 hours a day. There's a perfect A, B, C, D, boys and girls. There's A, B, C, D. Count the number of days up in the A leg. Count the number of lucks in the B, C leg. There you are right there at point D, right on the money, 125.10. We broke all the way down to 123, rallied up to the 382, and it's still going down. So it's got a little more to go, probably down into this area right here, about 122. And then we want to look at this for a potential 135 when that finishes. Look at this parallel channel that's in, folks. This is, this is not going to be rocket science type trade. You just have to follow that one and see if you can uh, get it. I don't know if anybody has any questions or not, but there doesn't seem to be any here. Uh, someone just posted the uh, Dow Jones here. Oh, this is, oh, my goodness, let's do this right now because guess what uh, Stan Harley was looking for today, folks? Let's get this up here. We got to give Stan, oh, shucks, that didn't work. Um, let me, oh, I can, I, I've got to do this. You got to see this because. Uh, Stan was on here just the other day. I'm copying it right now, and I'm pasting it right now. And I'm going to get it over here, and I'm going to pull it up right now. One second here. Save as, and get it up here, and give me one second. This is this is really important because Stan is looking for something very, very interesting here today. And here it is. Let's get it up here so we can see it. Blow it up, and it's coming uh, may I have the drum roll, please? And as you get up here to see this, oh, one more to go, one more to go, and then I'm, why isn't that giving me a chance to uh, put it into the den? Doggone it, something's wrong. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Give me a second. Looks like it's going to have to be at the break because I can't seem to get the, oh, well, you know what, boys and girls, I'm going to get this thing to you one way or the other. Let me turn this off, and I'll put this up here, and I think this will do it. Let me try one more time. Oops, i got to turn this off. Ah, this technical stuff drives me absolute nuts. Just a minute. This may or may not do it. Nope, this ain't going to work either. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I don't know why it's not working. Doggone it. Uh I just don't know why. I'll have to try to figure it out for the break. I, you got to see this thing with, that he's predicted this uh, last week. He said, this is what you want to be watching for. And by golly, guess what? It's this week already. Let me try it one more time. 
All right. And then I go here to record. Nope. Something's wrong. It won't do it. It just will not give me the chance to... Shucks. Wow. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. I've tried to copy and paste this uh, Stan Harley Dow Jones Industrial Cycle that he's looking at. It comes today, April the 10th. That's actually yesterday, so today's 11th. It could be a day or two off. But he thought that would be a pretty significant high into the June lows, is what Stan was saying. And if he pointed it out as being a potential head and shoulders pattern, I don't use that. I basically use ABCD and the Fibonacci retracements and stuff. And in the Dow Jones, that measures to 3930, 33930. And of course, we went to 33946. And so whether that works or not, I don't know, but uh, that's what I'm watching here today. Now, I'm going to be doing a couple shows a day here for a while, and I'm going to try to weave in, and not try, I'm going to weave in the things that Mark Douglas taught me about what was really important about being a trader and also a human being. Mark was one of the most philanthropic 
people that I had ever met. I thought I was philanthropic until I met him, but he not only gave of himself, he gave of his, I mean, money, but he also gave of himself. I, When he first came here for the first six years, uh, we had uh, Thanksgiving down at the Gospel Mission. We would cook turkeys and dressing and mashed potatoes for all of the people that were coming in then. And not only that, we would clean up afterwards, and it would be a two-day event, Thursday and Friday, and a lot of work, but a lot of laughter and a lot of fun, and met some really nice people. Spark, Spike Lee, his uh, his brother, was the pastor of the church here uh, in uh, Tucson when we first moved here in 97. He was here for three years, and he moved on to some place down in Tennessee where he had his own church. But met some nice people, and boy, you think you're down on your luck till you see how these people operate, folks. <laughs> Trust me. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless and thank you for there, but for the grace of God go I, because it could very easily be you. So try to help some folks, folks. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, and may God bless. Mm-hmm.